Okay, this is uh, going to be the section on basic candlesticks. Now, there's a tremendous amount that you can learn about candlestick charting. In fact, they have classes out there that will last two, three, four, five days on candlesticks and cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, candlestick charting was developed over in uh, Asia. Uh, by a gentleman by the name of Hama. Now, when he developed the candlestick technique, it was used for rice futures and so forth. Uh, what he determined was there was quite a difference between the price of something and the value of something. So keep in mind, a stock can trade at a certain price, but it does not mean it's worth that price. That's all based on supply and demand. So Steve Nissen uh, developed these uh, educational process over in Asia, he brought the Asian candlestick uh, idea to the West, and he combined it with technical analysis that we use over here on the Western side, and so we can put these together, and they'll complement each other. Now, there's a tremendous amount you can learn on candlesticks, but I'm a believer that less is more. So what we want to do is pull out just the key, most effective patterns, most effective techniques with candlesticks. Now, I'm not going to have time in this video to get all that in here, but I'm going to give you the basics of candlesticks. If you're new to candlesticks, even if you are experienced, you might pick up a couple things, so I encourage you to watch the video uh, in its length. Um, now, candlestick charting. Uh, we're going to look, first of all, at the, the standard chart of a line chart. Before we do that, though, let's talk about what you're going to learn in this module. We're going to talk about what candlesticks are, why they're used, and the key candlestick basics. Uh, we get into about, yeah, I'd say about six different patterns with candlesticks at Serene Investor that we use over and over again. And then we bring in a couple other ones, but we really have just a handful that we use. We don't focus on all the different types of candlestick patterns because we want to really focus on the most effective. And again, the books out there that Steve Nissen has, have, have, has written, <laughs> you can find all that you want to know in those books. They're kind of expensive, but they're worth it. They're very good books. So we're going to call this Module 3, Basic Candlestick Formations. And let's start off with this. Understand when a stock or a currency or any type of financial instrument moves during the day, it's going to have peaks and troughs and ranges and, and you know, it's different time periods. So let's look at this line chart. Let's just call this a day of trading. The stock opened here and it started trading, went up on the day, came down on the day, went up and then down and then closed a little bit in the middle. Uh, and that would be the range of the stock during the day. With a line chart, you can see very clearly if there's a trend, uh, kind of what it looks like. It's, it's a good thing to look at quickly if you're going to determine the overall direction or feel of a stock. But most technical analysts do not use line charts in their daily technical analyst analysis. So what we want to do is let's just look at this. There's four critical factors we need to know on any chart. The open price, the high of the day, the low of the day, and then the close. Close being the most relevant, the most important, because the professionals trade the last hour of the day. Amateurs trade the first hour of the day. So the, we want to really see where that close ends up. Is it going to be closer toward the high of the day, indicating a bullish sentiment in the market? Or is it going to close down lower toward the low of the day, indicating the bears are taking control? Maybe it closes in the middle, which is a battle of indecision where nobody's really winning this battle. We can take now the open, we can plot that here. We can take the close and we can plot that right here. So we can see the difference between the open and the close is very small. That would be called our candlestick body. Now this one's drawn in red simply because we opened at the high of the body and by the time we closed, we closed down on the day and the red indicates bear. Bears strike down with their paw. Remember the way they strike is down with their paw. So a bear market or a bear day means it's going down. A bull strikes up with its horns. Striking up is a bull market, so that would be a green candle. So in this case, we have a red candle, green. Uh, depending on the charting software you use, it could be black or white or whatever. But basically, we have a shaded in, a filled in candle, which is bearish. Now we're going to plot the other two points, which is our high and our low, and that gives us our wick. That's our candlestick wick. So we can see the battle happen today from this high to this low. Very big battle when you plot it this way. It doesn't look as big on the line chart. But with this candlestick, it looks like there's really big volatility on the day's range. And then it opened and closed lower, but the battle really happened right in here. The range is important, but the open and the close are most important. And we can see it closed lower, but not a lot lower than it opened. So I would call this pretty much a neutral day. Um, if it closed higher toward the wick, it'd be bullish. Lower toward the bottom of the wick would be bearish. 
So looking at the candlestick, a candlestick by itself is of no value really. You cannot take a candlestick and make a decision on a trade based on one candlestick. Whether it's one day, one minute, one hour, it doesn't matter what the time frame, there's not enough information. So it's best to get a series of candlesticks together to give you a better idea of what's happening. So as we go through Serene Investor, we will get into patterns where we have uh, several candlesticks forming a type of pattern that will give you a high probability setup on a trade. So here's another type of candlestick called the doji. A doji means it opens here, it has the battle up and down, then it closes exactly or really close to where it opened, and what it looks like is a little plus. And that's really called an indecision day. That is called the doji. The range trading during the time period is what you see, and the open and the closing price are pretty much exactly, if not close together, and that would be called a doji. I like to think of a doji as just a battle where either side tried to win, but neither side won. And so they had a standoff, had to turn away for the night, go get rest, and come back tomorrow to fight the battle again. <laughs> it's very uh, apropos of, of what that is. Uh, and you've got to understand the psychology be behind each of these bars. So when you're looking at the bar, remember the bar is just not a static picture. It's a dynamic psychological battle going on between a lot of different people, personalities in the market. And that bar is going to sing a song to you. It's going to reflect something to you. It's going to tell you a story. So you want to spend time with these bars, with these candles, to understand the story it's telling you. Patterns will repeat over time, over and over again. So here's three types of dojis. You notice they're different. This one's a long tail doji. This one's a grave uh, a tombstone doji. Uh, open and close at the same point, but it never went lower. Uh, the bulls tried to bring it up, couldn't bring it up, closed at the low. Bears couldn't bring it down. Uh, this one here, very similar to that one. So you're looking for dojis. Remember, the principles of indecision at the end of a trend. So it, when you see a doji occur at the end of a long trend, that's telling you there's indecision. Maybe the trend's going to change. It does not mean it's going to change, but it does give you an idea if you're in the position to maybe manage your risk, move your stop loss up, take positions just to fortify, because you don't know that it might not reverse. But we do need more information, and that's what we get into with Serene Investor. We'd like to get more information uh, into the trade. Now, here's three dojis in a row. That gives you more information. We have a technique on this that we use on the weekly charts that's very powerful in a momentum trade that makes very, very good money. Spinning tops. A spinning top just looks like one of the tops that you used to play with as a kid. You got a wick, pretty much equal, could be a little bit bigger on one side or the other, but then the body looks like a little top. And these again are indecision periods. When you get two in a row at the top or the bottom of a trend, you might be looking for a reversal because we got indecision twice and that means whoever was in command, whether it be the bulls taking it up or the bears taking it down, they have lost control for the moment. And when we see a reversal start to occur, we can look at entering a trade. So these, a single candle has a, a, a real small body. Again, that's what the spinning top is, a small body with uh, upper and lower wicks about equidistance. Uh, the upper and lower wicks uh, are longer than the real body, and that's important to know. You don't want really tiny uh, wicks. But these are indecision. Remember, supply and demand are balanced. They really are buyers and sellers meeting each other uh, equally. Now, tram tracks is very powerful. I learned this one over in Europe, and this is a phenomenal type of strategy to use or a candlestick pattern. It's great, especially in the currency markets. But basically, you see a stock or a currency going up, and you get this big bullish green candle, almost full body. It's even better if it goes full body with no wick. But what it is, it's giving you a bullish move up, big bull bar. But then the very next bar, we get an open at the close of the last bar, which we see here, because it closed here, and the red bar now takes it all the way down and retraces the previous move. It's almost like in Britain, they call it changing of the guards. You know, you got this green guard, he's been changed out by this red guard. So it's almost equal candles, uh, the open and close are the same level, and this just erased the previous move, telling you there's a reversal coming. At this point, we would want to take the trade to the downside when it broke below the low of this red candle uh, or even this green candle this is your bullish day so if, if you know that this thing's breaking below the low of the previous day's low that is your buy signal for puts or to short a stock on the downside okay these also work on the upside uh, it would just be a reverse color we'd have the red over here which would mean it would have been coming down we have a red bar a red candle 
and then the next bar is green. It's just vice versa, and that will give you the idea that the downtrend is ending, and we've just erased that downtrend previous bar with a green bar telling us we're going up. So at that point, we would want to buy our calls or our stock above the high of the downward previous bearish bar. Now we get deeper into this at Serene Investor, so obviously if you have questions, feel free to email me, Vince at SereneInvestor.com. Be more than happy to answer any questions. But the tram tracks or railroad tracks or train tracks, they're excellent. They work very, very well in the market, but especially what I've seen is in the currency markets. Now bullish candles, you've got to remember, uh, are going to be big candles. They're going to be big body candles because they opened at the lower part of the body and then the bulls just took total control and rushed this thing high, brought it back down at the end of the day and look what happens. It closed toward the high of the day which means the bulls are taking control. Open low, have a high, low, tried to, it, the bears tried to bring it down but they couldn't. It snapped right back and then it ended up closing really high. That is a bullish candle but the body is critical. So take a moment and read that if you'd like. You can pause the, the uh, video. But the fact is, bullish candles are what we're looking for. These are going to give us psychology. Everybody's excited to buy this position. Okay? This is what the candle is telling us. The bearish is just the opposite. The bearish candle uh, opens at the high up here and closes at the low. Oops, let me go back. It opens at the high, closes at the low. Uh, now, it, it does go lower, but it bounces back up. And what we have here is we have our wicks that take us uh, on either side. And again, we just have a big bearish candle, uh, which gives you seller uh, psychology. So the, the bulls have totally lost control, and the bears took it down and closed it toward the low of the candle. Now, the hammer and the hanging man... The hammers look like hammers, that's why they're named hammers. If you take a look at this, it's a very, very long wick to the south, to the south of the body. The body could be black or white, indicating that it opened at the high and closed at the low of the body. That's a bearish uh, hammer. The bullish hammer is it opened at the low, closed at the high, but in the meantime, it was dragged down by the bears and brought back up and closed higher. So it could be either one of those. Uh, so, and hammers and hanging men look exactly alike, but the hammers happen at the bottom of a trend. They happen at the bottom. Think about hammering out a bottom. When you see one of these happen after a long trend down, it might be telling you that the trend is over. Now, if you see two of these happen next to each other or within a couple bars, it's even doubly confirming to you that the downward trend is most likely ended, and you'll want to look at getting in once the next candle breaks above the high of these two wick candles right here, or these two hammers. Okay. Now, volume is critical as well. You want to make sure there's volume. We get very heavily into volume at Serene Investor because that is the juice of the trade. That is the fuel that puts the space shuttle out of the Earth's atmosphere with all the gravity. Volume is the key to any breakout. So we'll talk more about that in other videos. The hanging man, again, very similar, very similar, uh, but it's a bearish pattern. Uh, hammer's a bullish pattern and it's a bearish pattern. It also typically happens at the top of a trend marking a resistance area. If this stock was going up and then we had a couple hanging men, it would look like this and it just couldn't break through. Bears tried to bring it down, couldn't do it, but bulls couldn't take it higher and it usually shows the end of that upward trend a hanging man. So we would want to take a short trade once it came down and broke the low of this wick. But it's always about the next candle. These candles are just telling us a story but the actual action comes in on the next candle that will confirm the move that you're looking for, preferably with volume. Inverted hammers or shooting stars, very similar technique, we just flip them upside down and they look like this. So if you see this at the top of a trend and you see a lot of wick to the north, that's telling you the bulls have lost control. They can't get it up. Every time they get it up, it snaps back down because the bears pull it down. These are excellent excellent trades to take. When you see one of these at the top of a trend and the next candle starts to break the low of this candle, that is a signal to short or buy puts. What's even better though is if you see two of these. This is like a tweezer top. A tweezer inverted hammer or shooting star is giving you double the probability that this thing's done, the trend is over. Look for these double top, tweezer tops, whatever you want to call them. Just look for this psychology and when that bar breaks to the downside you're looking to take a short. Those are inverted hammers. Powerful, powerful technique. Just looking at these alone and getting good at inverted shooting stars um, can, can really make you some money if you 
manage your trade, manage your risk, and really look for these signals, these stories behind the stock and behind that candle formation. Remember, they're small, real bodies with really long wicks. The longer the wick, the better it is, because the more it snapped down from that high. Here's an example on a downtrend here. As we're coming down, we see this huge inverted hammer. So the bulls tried to bring it up. They couldn't. Bam, but it still closed higher. But look what happens. The next bar, it goes up. So we have this pivot happening, this reversal. Then the next bar takes out the high. This would be my entry. When it takes out the high of that wick, that is now confirmed bullish reversal pattern. Same thing over here on B. We see it's been moving up. We had this little flag, popped out of the flag. Then we had this tail to the north with a very bearish uh, body. But look what happens. It tells you the trend's over. We don't know until we get that next candle. Look at here. We break that low. That would have been my signal to go short or buy puts on this position. Okay? They work a lot of the time, but like anything, there is no 100% guarantee. They just give you better, higher probability in the trade. And remember, your stop loss will go above the wick high or below the lowest part of this inverted hammer or shooting star. Again, you can, you can pause the video and read uh, the little notes we have on here uh, about the inverted hammer or the shooting star. Definitely, it's about psychology and understanding what's going on in the minds of the traders and the investors who are taking the trades and causing these patterns to occur. So what you've learned in this video is what candlesticks are. They are basically a psychological understanding of the market, but they're put in terms where I think they're more visual. Japanese candlesticks give you four critical points, the high, the low, the open, and the close, but they do so in a much more visual way uh, than bar charts do. Also, uh, when you use them together, you're going to see that there's multiple types of combinations that you'll learn with us, from tweezer bottoms, tweezer tops, engulfing, uh, to, um, you know, all kinds of different types of techniques that we'll teach you with our candle patterns. Didn't have them all in my head here, but we, we will show you how to use these effectively, especially when they come uh, to, to a point where you get this pattern occurring at a confluence area uh, uh, or a resistance support or a Fibonacci number. Uh, if you don't know what these are, definitely stop back, get our videos. Uh, you're going to learn quite a bit about them. So this was just a basic overview into basic candlesticks. Final thoughts I'd have for you are, remember this, candlesticks by themselves can give some very, very good information. But when you apply them, in formations with other candles, they will give you higher probability setups. And then when you apply those setups with other information, which would be technical trend lines, support resistance, round numbers, Fibonacci, and areas of confluence, now you're getting the highest probability and you can set up your risk and trade management effectively and be a much, much better trader. Again, don't need to know a ton about a lot of things, but what you need to know is a handful of things that you get very, very good at, analyze it, know it well, become a master of a few things, and not a general practitioner. You've got to remember, the doctor that you have, whether he be a specialist or a general practitioner, the specialist always makes more money. Not because they know more, because they're both doctors, but because they know more about one area and they focus on that and that commands more dollars. Remember to specialize, like a laser beam is just general light focused, same with you as a trader. Become a focused trader, put blinders on, get good at several techniques like we teach at Serene Investor, so you take the serene path to trading, be effective with proper risk management proper trade management, and less stress, high return, and low risk. This is Vince Dowd. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Please make sure you uh, come to our website at sereneinvestor.com and get our free videos. Get our free black book called The Black Book of Elite Traders. It is a 38-page ebook. Uh, outlining eight simple yet powerful principles uh, on taking your trading to the next level, propelling your trading to the next level. It is really the key things you need to know to be effective and successful in trading. So again, that's www.sereneinvestor.com. If you're already on our site, go ahead and look over to your uh, on the screen there and you're going to see that we have the form for you to fill out to get more information, more videos, etc. I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great and successful trading day.